I forgot to hit record. Do da, do da. Hello, everyone. Time to play this game that I found on it, you. It is an. No, not RPG Maker. Ah, what's the word? Visual novel. Visual novel uh, called The Shadows Run Alongside Our Car. The road is long. Two strangers sit side by side as night falls. The car speeds down the open highway. Without a soul around them, everything seems to slip away. On our journey to no one knows where, all they have is words and time. And that time is dwindling fast. The shadows are chasing. Okay, so I believe it was made for... Uh, a game jam, but I can't find. Anyway, it, the reason I'm probably on that is it has content warnings. Mention of suicide, killing, violence and explicit language. So, be very careful if those things upset you. Look at the eyes go. Ah, who am I feeling? Who am I feeling? Who do I see the road through? I'm guessing that's just whose perspective you want to play. I'm only going to do one in this video, so gives you a reason if you want to go and see more, you do it yourself. And I'm calm, so indecisive. I don't want to be him because he is driving. So therefore, eyes on the road, motherfucker. We're going to Gun it! We lay back against the passenger seat. It's weird, sitting on this side of the car, but my stomach's been feeling off for a while and I just can't drive. So I hand my keys over to this stranger. It's the worst that could happen, right? Stare out the window, watching the unchanging scenery whiz by. Brr. There's an awkward silence, but I don't feel like filling it. It's so stuffy in the car. Reach for the window control button, let it roll down. Sure, that's a good idea. It's not like zombies are just going to hurl themselves at a moving car. Well, who knows? Maybe they would. Apparently, we have zombies. Fair enough. The latest breeze feels good against my neck. This guy looks like he wants to say something. I guess it's kind of strange to be asking after three whole days, but what's your name? Oh, yeah, we never did introduce ourselves. It's. Ah, uh, sure, I'm Shelby. Oh, yeah, no. Don't ask. Shelby. Race to the first limit, yeah, and Shelby. My name's Dustin. Okay. He looks dissatisfied. He doesn't expect me to react. It's not like I really care, but somehow he doesn't look very much like a Dustin. How do you look like a Dustin? He carries in a feather duster. That was the best joke I could come up with, even after that pause. Continue staring out the window. <laughs> the sky is so red. Normally I'd think it was pretty, but now it's just depressing to me. Bad things come out after dark. Remember that all too well. I'd rather not think about that. So I said, To yawn rudely at the microphone! <sighs> what were you doing before everything happened? Hmm? Oh. Guess I haven't been talking much since we met. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. You know, this and that. I never really settled into one thing in particular. What does that mean? It's weird or whatever. That's neither of my point, but okay. Doesn't sound like he really wants to talk about it. I wonder what his job really was. He was a trash collector. He does look kind of dirty. Hey! We need those people, alright? They even take a week off. Like, a fucking week off. It can really fuck an entire city. So, you make sure you fucking respect them, alright? I'm not saying it justifies them if they act like an asshole to you. But at the end of the fucking day, waste collection, especially in our society, is so fucking important, never, ever, ever look down on any kind of waste collection or cleanup. Alright? Shouldn't be rude, not much of a catch myself. What about you? This ride is yours, right? Mmm, yeah, well, feeling my dad's car. Or was. Even when he was alive, though. I was the only one who ever drove it. Dad got that third. Dio a drinking under the influence. His license was revoked. He used that as an excuse to never leave the house. Just as well, anyway. Sometimes he'd leave the car somewhere and forget where. Eh, I guess he didn't. Sorry, never mind. I'm feeling surprisingly calm about this. It's like I'm sitting on the outside looking in. I wonder if I'm really that callous. Maybe the apocalypse is just giving me more perspective. 
That's okay. The booze would have killed him eventually anyway. Pretty quiet in here, huh? Yeah, take a hint already. Surprisingly not much noise at the end of the world. Do you really think there are any radio stations left? I'd be pretty shocked if so. I reckon it couldn't hurt to look though. Reach towards the console, turn the radio dial in one direction. There's nothing but static. Sometimes metallic screeching. Great. Hang on a sec. Hmm? What do you hear? Couldn't really be something there, could there? Wait! There it is, I think. Yes! Oh jeez, hold on, I realise I'm getting double audio. My bad, my bad, my bad. Is that mariachi? Oh my god! Oh my god, I cannot believe it. Of all the music that could be playing, this is what we get. What am I thinking? Of course that is. Of course we're on a highway to hell. And the dark. <laughs> mariachi's the only music available to us. Go nice with the Spanish vocals and horns. The track are completely ridiculous right now. <laughs> I'm actually dying. The dulcet tones of this fabulous man are actually killing me. That was not what I was expecting. The hell's out there running this? All the music that would be left. And... I don't know, I quite like it. Take a minute to settle down, then... Wait. Isn't this the same thing again? Probably an end will slip. Why wouldn't it be? Typical. Sure seems that way. I guess it's just ghost in the waves after all. And the undead aren't exactly interested in DJing. How do you know? What do you think a zombie would even listen to? Death metal, too obvious an answer. Rob Zombie. <laughs> Maybe he's onto baby metal. <laughs> I don't know. The Grateful Dead seems more apt. Who's wondered this? What are they grateful for? They finally find themselves in peace. Peace, huh? I wish they'd let, uh, let the rest of us have some. Ain't so bad right now, anyway. Except for that. Just towards the console, 101.7 is now Infinite Loop Mariachi Radio Station. But yeah, anyway, music wise, I like Alanis Morissette, Top 40 Hits, that sort of thing. I like a lot of free time to explore musical tastes or anything. Don't tell me it's Baby Mill. <laughs> you will judge me if I say I actually haven't heard of them. Nah, no, no. Hey, what's wrong with Baby Mill? Fucking wisen up. He doesn't know that I unironically like Baby Mill. It's good music. What's. What is what are you getting at, developer? Hmm? What did you listen to? Most people I'm no saying I agree my way to listen to be about it was on, I'm no skipping it. They got some good tunes, man. Um, people look at me and expect me to be into the stones or Marley or something, but yeah, you probably judge me more for this. Sorry, the italics quite hard to read. Try me. Abba. Oh my god, I can't give a sorry face. I lose it. Everything is just too much. He looks kind of sullen. I'm sorry, Dustin, but that. But not that sorry. Told you. No, it's fine. The music's catchy. I managed to get the words out. All this laughing's making my stomach hurt, damn it. I mean, my parents listen to ABBA, but it's fine. What's wrong with you? Fucking. I listen to ACDC, Metallic's ACDC. Fucking. I listen to Disturbed. My mum listens to Disturbed. You got a problem with that? Yeah. How old are you anyway? You seem a bit young for Alanis. How old do you think I am? No right answer to that question, <laughs> except for that one. 22. Hmm. Kind of reaction's that? Whoa, you look so young! Or anything like that. I wonder how old Dustin is. He's just kind of similar to Abba, isn't it? All peppy and stuff. Should be happy to have it. That's an optimistic take on it. Alright, enough of you. He reaches over and shuts off the radio. Surprisingly immature side to him. Do you expect things to end up this way? Where did that come from? You have to ruin a bit like that. It's getting dark, huh? The sun's so late in the summer. No, no, no. The sun is... I, I don't know. Whatever. The sun sets so late in the summer. I'm a bit surprised we still have any light at all at this hour. Especially without the street lights and all. The sky's just been saving it up. It's a bit like a dying fire. It's kind of morbid, but... Kind of fitting for the end of the world. Ooh, that made my eyes feel funny. Silent again for a little, but it doesn't last. You never really told me about it as you do. I mean, it doesn't have to be a job or anything, but well, hmm. What do you like to do? Or what did you before everything? Like to do, huh? Turn my eyes to the window as I think on my life. 
Actually, I worked a lot. Didn't really have much time other than that. Woke up, shower, go to work, have lunch break, back to work. Get off work, eat dinner, watch TV for a few minutes before passing out. And the whole thing would start all over again in the morning. That was about it. And after leading such a boring life, I ended up here. Probably not even going to go out with a bang. I don't know, you just need to take a sharp turn to the left or right. I'm sure you could organise some kind of bang. Wait, no, that... Moving on, moving on. Bad phrasing. My death is going to be just as dull as my life. I guess that'd be people's, most people's story. It's tough out there. Was tough. Probably tougher now. Huh. What kind of point is in the end, isn't it? You work your damn... You work your damn tail off and everything goes to pot anyway. Wonder why I didn't spend your time better, you know? Deep. It's actually exactly how I feel about it. I'm surprised that I'm actually able to relate to it. Yeah. It doesn't matter either way. Zombies don't care whether you're a good or bad person. We're all gonna die anyway. What about you? I'm sure you didn't spend all your time listening to ABBA. I used to travel a lot, looking for work and stuff. You call me a bit of a nomad. Any backpack across Europe or something? What does nomad mean in this context? Well, whatever. That sounds really cliche. Not really. Sort of cliche. Tell you the truth, I haven't really had much purpose in a while. I've just been getting by. When you can't find something to do, you sort of lose yourself. It gets to a pretty dark place. Got to the point, I used to wish I could take a vacation from life. Guess I got my wish. I used to wish for that too. Wanted to be free. Didn't want to be responsible for that anymore. No, I'm not. I can't say whether that's a good thing or not. Wishes never do come true. In the way you expect them to. <laughs> Monkey's paw. Someone starts to throb painfully. I look down and press my hand against it. I felt like it for a while, but it's acting up again. Why did all this have to happen? Still feeling nauseous? Hmm. Should be so obvious about it. Don't want to cause any trouble. Might be causing even more trouble though. Yeah, it's gotten a little better, but. Anyway, I move my hand from my stomach. It's not like resting my hand will make a pain go away. In a way, as long as I feel that pain, I know I'm still alive. Not as morbid as hell. What is wrong with me? Just exhausted, which doesn't help things. You know how it is. I think we should stop and rest. Glance at the fuel gauge in the dashboard. Nervous. We barely have one fourth of the tank left, as it is. Quarter of the tank. Nah, like it or not. We'll be stopping soon anyway. Breaking would just waste gas. Onward it is then. Try to ignore my pen. pain. I keep my eyes on the endless road stretched out ahead of us. She infected or something? It really hurts now. I don't think I've ever been in this much pain in my life. And that's saying a lot, considering what I have to go through every month. I deserve this, don't I? I shouldn't feel bad about it. I brought it on myself. Do you ever wonder, like, why us? How did we make it this far? She may be talking about period. I suppose that's still going to happen in the zombie apocalypse. I'm just trying to wonder what she's talking about if it's like ant flow, as some people call it, or you know, she's like infected or something. I think she might be. Uh, is it really such a good thing we're alive? At the moment I swung that baseball bat and I sealed my own fate. I start to sink into really dark thoughts. I hear Dustin's voice. Honestly, I try not to sort of think. I try not to think so hard about stuff like that. If I stop to wonder what my own life was worth, I... It's a dangerous train of thought, I'll tell you what. We're here and that's what matters. Despite it all, we're here and we're safe. And the how and why of it is just garnish on a salad. You know, I didn't believe it all at first. I mean, they were really facing the apocalypse or whatever. The first couple of months I just kept working, kept done like everything was fine, and then... I couldn't ignore it anymore. And then Dad, and I began to explain. Listen, you don't get an answer from me if you don't want, but your old man, what happened? My dad? I killed him. Smacked him in the head with a baseball bat and then ran like hell. He needed more beer, right? Of course he did. He was a deadbeat alcoholic. But then, but they wouldn't even let him in our nearby liquor store anymore, so he wandered off to another one. It just so happened that that part of town was infested. It took a while before I even noticed, since he isn't really any different from usual. Does it count as murder if you kill a zombie? 
Does it count as murder if you never get arrested because your town's entire police force is now undead? Pretty pathetic, huh? So is my dad. And so am I. In the end, I won't be doing much better. My stomach is burning with pain again. Pain now. And guilt. Stare at the window, seeing nothing but darkness. Who knows what could be lurking out there? The thought hasn't changed since way before, I guess. Though that thought hasn't changed since way before, I guess. Leggy. Hey! Sudden warmth on top of my hand. Hesitant at first, but then steady. Dust in his hand and velvet spine. And I feel comforted. Safe. Is he covered in bruises or is it dark? I, I sort of have this weird feeling there's bruise. We're still here. Just remember that. Until that changes, there's still time. Things might never get any better. It'd be stupid to assume that they would. But we're still breathing. It was hope. Pretty cheesy, isn't it? Anyway, sorry about that. Weird dad. Even if you didn't get on with him. But it must be hard losing someone that close to you. Neck just cracked. Wow, where do I even start? Be honest. For some reason, I feel like I can be honest with Dustin. Even though I barely know him, I trust him. Somehow. Mouth opens and all on its own and the words spell it. Honestly, I felt relieved when he died. Then, I felt awful for feeling relieved. But I spent seven years of my life taking care of him. At the end of it all, I just felt free. Not that I got to enjoy that feeling of freedom for very long. It makes me feel like a monster to admit this to someone else. It really does. That's the truth. I wouldn't worry too much. There's no wrong way to feel. He's right. I know I'm only human. Not a monster. Not yet, anyway. I guess I'm almost privileged. No one I care about has been around in a long while. If there's anyone still out there. Or if they're still stuck out there like this. I wonder if we'll ever know. Looking for like subtle changes around the. I realise you can't see my mouse point, and I'm pointing at things on the screen, um, like on the windscreens, on the chairs, and stuff. See if anything's changing out there. I can't go on this. Just keeping it to myself. Dustin, something I need to tell you. Touch my stomach lightly with the palm of my hand. The searing pain reminds me I'm no longer entirely human. I gave my humanity up when I killed my dad. I should have said something before. I wanted to, but I was scared. I'm still scared. Don't even hesitate. I swung that baseball bat as hard as I could. And then he bit me in the stomach as a parting gift. Yes, it's yeah, it's one hundred percent infected. Like I thought, even in death, Dad's done some way to screw me over. Stop. It's okay. I would blame Dad for Mom leaving us. He was selfish. He was an asshole. He was this. He was that. But just look at me. Put Dustin's life in danger. I've lied to him since the day we met. I, I'm my father's daughter. But I. Just keep calm, alright? Don't really know how this all works, so maybe there's a way. I'm sorry. Does it hurt? Not as much as I'd expect it to. Mostly just feel cold and hungry. Not even sure if that's had to do with being bitten. If it wasn't for this, it would down in my stomach. I might just think I imagined it. I wish I was dreaming right now. I wish I... I wish this wasn't reality. I wish I was dead. Careful there. Remember that thing about wishes? Monkey's paw. Guess sitting in a car beats having customers or my manager yell at me. It's over lining. Retail? Almost as bad as zombies. Worse probably. I don't know, people give retail a bad work. Like, most of my jobs in my life have been retail and honestly I've, I very much enjoy retail. I do think it's, it's quite a good job. It can be soul destroying but I've worked in offices and that's just as bad. You know, all it takes is one bad customer and overwrites an entire perfect day. You know what I mean? You're like, you'll remember that bad customer. Despite the fact, I, I think it's just maybe humans are, like, set on remembering and focusing on the negative. Maybe some kind of survival instinct or something. I don't quite know, but, like, sometimes I had to justify myself. I get so close with some customers, I was on a first name basis with them when I worked in a supermarket for seven years. You know, I'd see thousands of people a day in my short shift. You know? And people would come up to me and ask how it was, ask how my fucking family was. I knew some of them were sick and stuff, or like... God, I actually seen some of their children grow up. Let that sink in, I was, I was in a fucking <laughs> supermarket 
for so long, I've seen toddlers become babies become... Babies become toddlers become school children. You know what I mean? It was It's weird. It's... You just need your own perspective on it. Don't try and focus on the better sides. And I mean, any corporate environment sucks. It's not necessarily the work itself, it's the, the corporate bollocks that goes on in the side patterns that I fucking despise. Decisions made by people that think they know better, they just fuck over the people in the bottom line. You know, I'm not even talking about management, I'm talking to the people above them. Anyone above a store manager that's never done bottom line work, or even if they have, they just seem to stop fucking caring. As if they've got no responsibility to actually help, they're just there purely for business profits. Granted, it's a business, that's a job, but I'm fucking ranting sharp, right? Anyway, you should sleep if you want to. You'll probably be on this road a while. A while, huh? The rest does sound nice. I was had to get up so early for work. I used to be up this late. Start to feel really sleepy. Yeah, you're right. You wake me up if anything happens. My mind flashes to the baseball bat, still in my trunk. No, I wouldn't think about that right now, of course. Hey, gotta be somewhere better down the road, right? Better than back there, any rate. Maybe there'll even be a station at <laughs> both Atlanta and Tabba. Maybe I've been running ever since Mum left. I never looked back, just kept going. It was all I could do to keep from falling apart. Just and I, we've both done enough. We've both gotten farther than I ever thought possible. Once the fuel gauge light is on, but I feel strangely at peace. Close my eyes, smiling as my consciousness already starts to drift. Wherever this road goes, whatever lies at the end of it, we lived. Where for that will remain, will remain no matter what. So for now, let's just keep going forward. Well, that was quite sad. I don't know why I thought this was a horror game. I don't know, it's just like the whole the shadows that lung alongside her car. <laughs> And like the, the tagline at the end, the shadows are chasing. Do you know what? Maybe, maybe that's maybe that that's it. It was just the ending I went for. I just fucked myself over for all the scary stuff. And I just got some sad, deep, recollecting thoughts. Sorry if my rants annoyed you, but I'm, I'm a ranty kind of guy when you get me going. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this anyway. This is my link in the description if you want to have a mess around. Um, I hope you will. Because it seems like there's multiple endings. It's a visual novel, there has to be. Um, by the way, good luck. Take it easy.